Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is said to be a Star Wars film that will hold many different connections not just to the original trilogy but also the prequel trilogy era by director J.J. Abrams. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. So we do know that Episode 9 is getting closer to its release with each and every month that passes by. We are now just six months away from when this movie hits theaters on December 19th of this year. And with that being said, we do know that the next trailer is coming this July over at San Diego Comic Con. So as we get closer to that, we will be learning more about this film and really a lot of things are starting to get very intriguing for Episode 9. Now these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film and when it all comes down to one of the set leaks and one of the plans by Disney, Lucasfilm, JJ and crew. This is where things begin to get very interesting for episode 9. Now specifically what's really interesting about all of this is that it's described that one of the scenes that are planned for reshoots during the month of July is to adjust a major scene for the third act of the film between Rey, Kylo Ren as well as other characters like Obi-Wan Kenobi. It's described that one of the scenes that will be tweaked involves a segment in which both Kylo and Rey witness the netherworld of the Force Force that is initiated by Luke Skywalker's Force Ghost. However, it's described that J.J. Abrams has plans in place to bring in Ewan McGregor to provide voiceover work for the role of Kenobi's Force Ghost, as well as to film scenes where he is described to appear middle-aged while presenting himself in the netherworld of the Force before Kylo and Rey, besides Luke Skywalker's Force Ghost. The sequence is described that have been taken from Colin Trevorrow's original Episode 9 script that was inserted into J.J.'s original vision and changed slightly to, off to offer fans a unique experience on the big screen that will bring Star Wars lore to a different level. John Williams is said to be recording a dedicated track for the sequence that will go along with Ewan's dialogue and specifically for the Netherworld. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now, the thing about Episode 9 is that we do know that JJ and Chris Terrio are going to be introducing aspects of this franchise that fans have never seen before in Star Wars film history, which really is very, I guess you could say, mind-boggling. It really is because we do know that JJ Abrams is very ambitious about this movie and really wants to bring the Star Wars franchise to a different level than we have ever seen before on the big screen, which really tells us that JJ is very goal driven and he's really trying to do something quite amazing with this movie. I don't know if you guys actually saw that interview, but when JJ was actually chosen as the director and the writer of this film, he needed help. He needed a lot of help with Chris Terrio in order to complete the script, in order to dig into Star Wars Legends material and do all these amazing things. So the fact that there will be a lot of Legends slash the expanded universe material and how that's going to have a large presence in episode 9 it really tells us that this movie is really going to cater to a lot of the star wars fans that were really involved with a lot of the books the novels the comics throughout the 1990s into the mid to early 2000s so with that being said, Ewan McGregor coming on board to provide voiceover work where JJ is even trying to get him to appear as a middle-aged Force Ghost during the Netherworld of the Force and presenting himself next to Luke Skywalker's Force Ghost in front of both Luke and Rey as well as Kylo Ren. That's where things begin to get very magical for this movie is that that's a side of Star Wars that fans have never seen before. The netherworld of the Force and Kenobi and Luke being attached to all of that. Now, what do I have to make about all of this? Well, the netherworld is a very mysterious aspect of Star Wars, right? And one may argue on whether or not it's a good or a bad move in order to really dive into that segment of the franchise and to reveal that side of the Star Wars universe. You know, I know it's a very mysterious realm you know it always makes you wonder where do the force ghosts really go when they disappear exactly what does it look like you know when we hear obi-wan talking to luke in yoda's hut or when we hear you know yoda actually reaching out to luke skywalker and stuff around those lines exactly where are they when they are not appearing that's the biggest question of all so with that being said you know the thing that J.J. Abrams is really trying to do here is he's trying to do something that no Star Wars creator has done before. No director or writer or just regular creator out there has done before either on the big screen or in the forms of comics, books, and novels. Now yes, in the Darth Vader comic that dropped in 2018, the last one by the way, uh, we did witness Darth Vader going into the spiritual realm. So I would imagine it's going to be very similar to that where 
Vader basically got to see all these different figures of the past, where now Rey and Kylo Ren are going to experience a very similar event before their very own eyes within the third act of episode 9, and that's exactly how it's going to be portrayed in this movie. So, with that being said, guys, I would love to hear what you all have to say about the Netherworld of the Force and whether or not this is a step in the right direction to have Ewan McGregor's voiceover work being used as Obi-Wan Kenobi, as well as visuals of his Force Ghost plan to be standing next to Luke Skywalker in middle-aged form. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.